imagine this, bro. You sit in a room and with you are two very intelligent women. And these two women, they tell you how they perceive you. They tell you who you think you are. This happened lately to me at my internship as a psychologist with the head psychologist and with the psychologist who watched over me in this internship who was uh, my immediate boss. So you, you know I could have taken these things to heart and let them influence me that they told me that they perceived me as a bit shy, that I don't talk as much. But you can't let this happen, bro. You can't let other people tell you who you are. Because this is a very delicate thing. Because who you think you are is the way you're gonna act. And the best way, in my opinion, is that you just think about yourself that you are. That you live in the current, present moment. And try to not let external things influence you. This doesn't mean that you should just act however you feel like. If you feel like watching porn, you should just watch porn. Of course, you should always do things that are hard. You, could, you should fight against the resistance, but you should also not let popular media or smart people around you or even your mother tell you what to do and who you are. This is very tricky with people who you think are really intelligent or like your mother or father who have known you your whole life. You would think they knew so much about you, but this isn't the case. And it goes even a step further because even your brain sometimes lies to you about who you are. It tells you that you can't do certain things, but you can can fight the resistance, you can fight the thoughts in your head, the opinion of other people that other people have about you, of your mother, of your father, and just do the right thing. And yes, it will hurt, yes, you will have anxiety, it won't be easy, and it will never stop, it will always be a grind, but this grind will be worth it, it's all life is about. So that's all I had to say for today's video. Thank you bro for watching. See you in the next one.